Well, I think I'm pretty, finally, I think, <laughs> I'm pretty happy with this tree line here. A bit of sawtooth that I have going on there. So, as you can see, I've already outlined quite a bit. And, uh, and filled it in. You know, pretty basic colors. I've pretty much just worked with uh, ultramarine blue, red sienna. And, um, and white, a bit of, oh, and yellow ochre actually in places. You know, mostly burnt sienna, ultramarine blue burnt sienna, ultramarine blue burnt sienna, and a bit of yellow ochre. That sort of thing. Just varying degrees. So that is going to be sort of establishing our shapes. You know, when I put these lines in, I put them in pretty thick. Pretty thick to allow myself some forgiveness for when I, when I paint over them later. Oh, that's the way I like it, and we all need forgiveness, that's for sure. So... Just going to be patient here. It's kind of weird. I mean, I like standing up and painting, but if I get into finicky stuff, then I kind of tend to like uh, to sit down. And I think I've whined about my back before, too. If I do this for too long, my back gets pretty sore. But for the moment, we're just going to carry on with this. Uh, okay. We'll do our, our shoreline line. You know, I was still so tempted uh, to bring in some of the structure that I had in the earlier in the earlier sketch. Uh, I like the idea of, of a stronger tree over here, maybe, and you know, just some closer structure. But I thought that that was probably more information than the painting needed. And really, what my idea was in this painting is to allow the viewer to stretch to stretch their eyes a little bit. So. Um, yeah, I'm going to use sky to counter um, this, well the strong part will be of course this, this hillside, this line. And this, the tree already helps, so it doesn't need much, you know? Um, so I'll, I'll just do that with the sky. I love skies anyway, so, you know, that solves itself pretty much. Alright, um, I'm tempted to do this. Bring a hillside down here. Dare I do that? Maybe that's a bad idea. See, I don't like to repeat this too much, but we might be far enough away that it's not going to be a problem. So let's just pretend it's not a problem for the moment and go ahead and do it. structure or maybe they should just all be trees yeah yes 
I apologize. As soon as I put in too much structure, it, it attracts too much attention. And we'll compete with the sky. Don't want it. I'm going to end up with more of this kind of thing going on. Just pretending that they're... I'm not painting trees, but I'm putting in these vertical strokes to indicate that rather than something that's two miles away, uh, or three miles away with some sort of uh, cliffs and, and valleys and what have you, I think I'm going to just stick with, with the idea of uh, this pretty much just being a band of trees. Now, if I was going to, if I was a, a painter of reality, it'd be a different story. It'd be a little, might be a little more difficult to pull off. But reality, reality, and I don't get along at all. So we'll just do that, and that's that's, that's one technique I like to use sometimes. It just helps me start to feel as though it's just a bank of trees. I think what I probably will do though is, is show some rock, you know, some rock structure in places here and there. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to worry about that too much right now. Hmm. You know, how about if we were just to. something along those lines. I'd like to keep it simple. Uh, very important, I think, to keep that simple. And I may not, I may not end up doing that anyway. We'll see, okay? Um, I'm not going to worry about it just yet. Odds are that I will just wash the foliage in the background in, and then I'll go with yeah, sort of purples and blues, and then I'll likely just take some uh, maybe raw umber and wash in what we might end up turning into rock. Might end up ignoring rock completely. It's far enough away that we don't have to do that. We could just keep, you know, just stick with the broad strokes. Well, um, <laughs> I think I mentioned that I was tempted to put something more in the foreground, you know, this, this hill that I had going up here, but I didn't want a hill behind a hill, or above a hill. Um, so temporarily this was okay. I kind of like that. But I have such mass and strength here, you know? And mass and strength in, 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 in to the degree that I have a lot of land here, a lot of foreground. And uh, I have to it's almost like I'm fighting with myself constantly. I want to get back to my original intention of the painting. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Never mind being too gentle and kind or using the sky. I think I'm going to make it even stronger by having a couple of trees or some foliage here anyway of some sort. You know what? I have a photograph, I think. Yeah, I do. I have a photograph. I have a photograph handy of the painting that I did. Well, I did this painting probably about oh twenty 
I don't know, 22 years ago or something. I don't know if that's even going to show up very well. I'll try to keep the glare off of it. But see how dramatic that is? Uh, it's very strong. Now, this painting was a much smaller one um, than what I'm working on. But it almost had a violence to its, its drama. And I like that. It's, it's something you can't ignore, you know, when you're staring at something like that. So, although this painting will not be that painting, and I'm not trying to copy that painting that I did years ago, I like the feel of it. I like, it's kind of like reckless abandon, you know? That's kind of what I wanted, wanted to reproduce here initially. And as, I, and as I keep playing with it and keep playing with it, I get kinder and softer and more gentle. No, that's not what I was after. So, oh well, I keep screwing up. That's okay. It's not. It's not the first time. I've, it's not the fiftieth time I've done it. It's way more than that. Yeah. So I'm going to reintroduce something strong over here, so that I can keep making strong feeling strokes. You know, like this. I like the movement here, and that's what I would like to maintain. And then when you start to put in something fiddly like this, this, this tree line, and then oh, I'll put a couple bushes in here, and then I'll put little rocks in here. Like, come on, you know? It's not what I wanted. So I'm going to revisit this with a fresh mindset. <laughs> Sorry, guys. This painting might have like 600 videos to it. Talk to you soon. Well, I like this. Getting a little bit closer to what I was after to start with. You know, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a horizontal canvas, but not so horizontal that it's just panoramic. Uh, I like the idea of putting motion in here. Yeah, it could have worked with the sky. I think this will be a stronger painting, though. Um, yeah, really happy that uh, I decided to, to go with this, and I'm just going to try to stick with that theme as I... As I uh, move forward, I just wish I'd uh, thought about that to begin with. Or, you know, not sort of lost, lost track of what my original plan was. Okay, we'll talk to you later.